But like always, I've made 50 of these 81 plus player picks. If you want to learn how to grind on the video, is the most recent one to go up. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm expecting zero team of the seasons out of these today. I'm going to try not to take any of the duplicates either because I just have too many in my club. But the reason why is, is basically the best of the best in terms of, well, more or less team of the season. There are a few bad ones in there. And there are a few players that probably should have been that aren't. So I'm not expecting any team of the seasons. Never say never, but let's be realistic. And then if you don't know what's coming this Friday, the Euros promo is starting. And you know there's going to be lots of SBCs out, which we're going to cover on how to grind. And then we are going to start prepping for FC25. I can't even believe I'm saying that. We've got a little way to go yet. It's a couple weeks, well, six weeks more or less. And then it'll be pre-season for FC25, which is really worth doing. So it's worth just grinding the game more casually now. The Euros will come out, we're getting Icons, Heroes, plus six, I think six special cards, like in terms of like path. Team of the season's finally here and it's time to talk business. Have you encountered this problem with buying coins from other websites? But I've got the best service at Loot Bar. Loot Bar provides you with the cheapest and most reliable coins with an 8% discount for new users. I only spent 35 euros and I got a million coins and now there is also a 5% bonus coins for all orders. Don't forget to use code Nanny to use 8% off. The coins will be delivered within the next 24 hours. That's awesome. Now I have the best team like this and you will be ready to improve your team like I said. The link will be down in the description and comment section. Use the code Nanny to get 8% off and 5% bonus and improve your team today. Glories, etc, etc. So that's going to start this Friday. I don't know if we'll get icons and heroes this Friday. It might just be Path to Glories. Do you know what Path to Glories are? They're essentially like, for example, let's use England. It'll be a couple of players from England. The further England progress, the cards get upgraded. Very similar to that Tony Cruz UCL card that got full upgrade. It's the same thing. So as you can see at the moment, these player picks are absolutely awful to be predicted. We're getting 88 there. But that's what's coming. And then that's when the pat weight just gets cranked right up. Finally, they'll start giving us like a repeatable icon SBCs, repeatable hero SBCs. So if you like, it's probably the most fun time to play the game if you don't have a crazy team. If you do have a crazy team, it's kind of just carbon copy for the rest of the year now in terms of what comes out and what doesn't. But it's one of those, I'm not going to be negative on it. I do actually enjoy playing this game in the summer as we get another walk out there. Because you just get fun cards that are really high rated. As we do get a team of the season, so I'll take it back. Unfortunately, it's one of the bad ones, it's Salvio. But 93 rated there, we will take it out of two sets so far. Can I actually get one that will go into my team? I'm not holding my breath. But we did get a tot, so there you go. Mona in, I didn't expect to get a tot, so we got one. So we can be happy with the video in that sense. But yeah, Path to Glory should be good. I imagine leaks are going to start coming out very, very soon. There's nothing confirmed that it's coming this Friday. We just got a daily challenge to say, like, preparing for it. So that in my mind, that means it's coming this Friday. If I were to throw my, like, 50p at it or whatever, as they say. But we shall see. Almost didn't take Rodri there. 89 there. So we are getting a couple walkouts out of these. Now, if you are going to grind these, I was getting 88 there. I recommend trying to build up your club back up again. So just go ahead and grind these. Get loads of comments back into your club. Because like I say, EA going to go full send now. We're going to get loads and loads of things in packs. The grind becomes way easier, but you're going to need things in your club. Get this out of the way now. Then when it comes out, you're laughing. You're on easy street. You can sit back, take your time and do it. Whereas if you're grinding it, oh, so you're getting dupes here. You're going to be basically sat around sort of like, oh, I wish I did this earlier. So it's always better to be ahead when possible. We're not going to take that Pelé as long as I've already got him. On to our next one here. Can we get another team of the season? Let's see. I think I've got Jao Mario already. No, I don't. So there we go. On to our next set. Then I think the following Friday, so the 14th when the Euros actually starts, is when they're going to hit us with icons, heroes, and loads of stuff. So I expect them to be crazy. To be very similar to Goal Lasso promo, if you know what that is. But imagine that on crack. So like cranked up like 10 times in terms of funness, pat weight, cards being absolutely juiced to the moon. So in terms of that, it's going to be fun, but I don't think it's this Friday. I'd be very surprised. Hopefully it is because it will bring a bit of fun to the game. We'll have to see. So it looks like we're probably going to get one team in a season out of all of these. We've had quite a lot of walkouts, so I can't really complain in terms of walkout. I didn't know it was a duplicate, so that's annoying. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's a dupe. He is, so that can go back into a player pick. No worries. We'll take an 85 Bono because I can put it into an exchange. Let's open up some of these other ones here. Can we get one more team in a season? We'll have to see. I don't think so. But the game is slowly but surely coming to an end on the flip of that. Make sure that you guys are playing this when pre-season's out. So just keep an eye on the channel, even if you're not watching the content anymore. Because when that pre-season stuff comes out, it's essentially packs you're going to get for the next FC25. 
For example, I think we got an 83 times 10 for just playing objectives for the next game. But we are a little way away from that. Yeah, I don't want to make it as tomorrow because it's not. It's got a little way to go. So getting to our last three picks then. So one team in a season, that is a lot more than I expected. Let me know if you're going to be grinding these and if you actually packed any of the ultimate team of the seasons. Thank you so much for watching the videos and I will catch you in the next.